Hello and welcome to the Game Room. On this special 10 minute turbo show I will show you how to get scan lines from Bang & Olufsen Television from any source with any console. short of this video is that I am playing an Xbox 360 on Dodon Apache Die for Cat Sewer Resurrection and it's got scan lines and anyone out there knows that that is impossible unless you've got Xtron 580XIs or any of those gizmos that can um, process the signal uh, into low res 240p. Now what's happening is the Bang & Olufsen is actually providing that deinterlacing circuit there's no need for any other goodies or gizmos um, it's a feature I discovered whilst looking through a service manual for the uh, MX series. It was telling me that the uh, BO1000 uh, remote had a function on it called non-interlace, which I was very interested by. Um, I don't have a BO1000, I've got BO4, which is uh, this one, which has got um, lots of features, but it certainly doesn't have a shift button. So I did a bit of research into how do I get uh, a shift function up there so I can test it out and uh, eventually worked out what I needed to do uh, in terms of key combinations and whatnot. and uh, this video is basically going to show you how to get scan lines on your Bang & Olufsen television from any input source. Okay, it all relates to this remote control here, the B04. This is a programmable remote control and as I've said in previous videos you have to have this remote in order to make your Bang & Olufsen TV work. So uh, looking through that manual I uh, discovered that you can program a, a number of functions into the remote and to do that you hold down the on off button and press list you then go into uh, list mode and then you can configure a number of options to come up on that screen one of which is shift and I'm going to put the TV in camera into take mode because the TV's in take mode funk it that is a interlaced image. I'm going to run that function again and come out of menu mode. So remember this is an interlaced image. I'm going to go menu, down, down, select picture, point the remote away, get your shift option up, hit return and hit 7 and when I hit 7 you should see the difference. 3, 2, 1, go. And there you see some scan lines appearing. And when I exit, it goes back into RGB mode. And there, for your enjoyment, are the scan lines of a 240p image, or a 240p, a pseudo 240p image, to be precise, because um, the input is still 480i. But we are displaying the scan lines. Now, if you've got a particularly keen eye, it's very difficult to tell on this, on this video camera, but if you have a very keen eye you will see very very slight wobbling. Now it's, it's virtually invisible, but you might just be able to pick it up there. See white images wobble more than dark images, but there is a slightly wobbly picture there. So not absolutely perfect, but certainly a lot better than interlaced mode. And just to prove that I wasn't using some kind of trendy graphics mode on uh, Dodon Patchy Resurrection or had put in some kind of hack into the game or whatever, this is the Xbox dashboard running through the Bang & Olufsen. There you go. I absolutely detest this dashboard with a vengeance because it's all advertising. You've got that enormous Xbox Live block in the middle and there'd be even more adverts if it weren't for the fact that this wasn't connected and then when you do go into games you get these awful crummy little icons and the whole screen is surrounded by advertising and football and social media 
Uh, here it is. Um, the Dashbosch, Dax, Daxbox, the Dachshund, uh, the da dashboard of the Xbox 360. And you can see there that even the dashboard now has got scan lines. So what does this mean for us? Is the price of a second-hand MX4000 going to suddenly go through the roof? Are x going to be put out of business? And is Fagan RS500 going to stop making videos? Well, I don't think any of those things are going to happen, and I don't regret watching 14 and a half hours of Fagan RS explaining line doubling because I thoroughly enjoyed it. However, it does mean that the MX series is probably the ultimate retro gaming television. If you do want from some instructions on how to access that function step by step, and all of the other uh, picture geometry settings here, drop me a PM. The high contrast screen can also be removed.